Hello there, world of YouTube. This is me, Swimster Girl, coming to you guys with my April Plan With Me video. For the month of April, I thought it would only be fitting to go ahead and do the anime Your Lie in April. Uh, I mean, small spoiler, but maybe not a spoiler. Uh, the ending is pretty, like, you don't see it coming. So, very good anime. Highly recommend. It'll definitely have you in tears. I won't go into too many details. But just know, it hits, it hits a different way. <laughs> but um, yeah, so for my cover page, I went ahead and I did this picture where they're like all laying together. Uh, this was probably one of the most difficult like covers I've done so far. Like, I just couldn't get some of the like their like the eyes or like their like their face. I just couldn't get it like just right. So it's not my all time favorite like it is and it isn't like the execution of it isn't my all-time favorite but the cover itself i think came out fairly well i really like the lettering i did because i hand did it myself i didn't like trace it or anything I, I handed it myself so i was pretty proud of that but one thing i did differently for this cover spread particularly was go in directly with a fine micron um you guys know i usually enjoy my thick boy which is the um 08 micron for outlining but in this case like the drawing itself had a lot more like detail than some of the other ones you guys seen most of the other ones that i've done so far which is um attack on titan what was oh an inuyasha and yu yu hakusho the um it was fairly simple because it was like a character or two that I was tracing or like just the side profiles. But in this case, it's um, a whopping four characters. Yes, these are our main babies per se. Um, and each of them has like their own thing. Like uh, I'm blanking out on names, but uh, yeah, so each of them have like their own names and known things. Their nose aren't very like prominent in the the like the reference pictures so i didn't really put like noses on them but i think that really kind of threw it off but i digress let's get back to the video and get off this tangent of my lack of artistic skills but hey uh yeah so for the lettering i just went ahead and i covered i basically copied the lettering of the title And I used the ruler because I did want the very sharp lines. I went in with my thick boy. At this point, I went in with my thick boy to um, fill in the letters and black them out. Now to add a little bit more to the spread, I kind of added like a border, um, what's it called, on the top and the bottom of the art part of the page as well as the um, lettering part of the page. Uh, I was originally not planning to fill in this particular gap because I kind of liked the way it looked with the white space, but as you guys can see over in the drawing area, I kind of went over where i already had like you know stencils of like their hair and i think it was like a little part of the outfit so um yeah so i just went ahead and i filled it in because i thought it would just kind of make it look a little bit nicer a little bit more put together more cohesive per se so i went ahead and i did that And then, of course, we have to e go in and erase any, you know, pencil marks that we have on the page just to kind of make it, like, give it that neater look. Forewarning, like, throughout this video, you guys might experience, like, some change in lighting. That's because I was trying out, like, this new light I have. And I'm trying to get, like, to whether, decide whether I should keep the new light or just keep the old lighting. I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Um, what you guys see here is again me kind of testing the lights, but I'm just going in with a um, 
tombow a very light sky blue tombow it's very difficult to see with either lighting but i've just basically followed the same formatting from the previous month setup which is like where it's like the big calendar on just one page the only difference is, is that this time instead of doing little crosses in between the like days i actually outlined the whole boxes And right here I'm just using a navy blue gel pen in um, 0.7 I believe so it's a little bit thicker than I'm used to but it came out quite nice in my opinion. I quite enjoyed the contrast between the very light sky blue and the navy that aside from certain lettering which you're going to see because I believe I did the month of April in um, like black which is with the micron pens on the next page. I went I pretty much used this navy blue gel pen from Paper Mate for the entirety of the spread. Now, this is something I changed up a little bit from my previous spread in March. In March, I just had um, three box categories, which were monthly overview, um, social media goals, and personal goals. This time, what I decided to do, instead of having like the three blank spaces where I made small little doodles, I just went ahead and made a running to-do list for the entirety of the month. And on the side of that, I kept the three box categories. And again, that's just, um, I'm using the navy blue pen as opposed to a black pen or black marker. Once that was completed, we're moving on to the next page where in the bottom corner, I'm just like pasting, um, gluing on a picture of Tsubaki and the main char character whose name I am currently blanking on. But yes, um, all I did was it's April Adventures at the top. I did the light tombow with the blue gel pen over top of it. And basically there I'm just gonna go ahead and like add pictures of things we did in April like over here we celebrated Easter and stuff so it'll be more like a, like a kind of like a memory catch-all for the month of April now here it's kind of the same plan as we went with on the cover page where I used my skinny boy instead of my thick boy um, to start off the whole doodles, I skipped out on the faces of them just because the detailing was like really small. I'm not the greatest artist. I mean, I do try my best. So I was just not trying to put that stress on myself of trying to get like the faces right. So I just went ahead and didn't include any um, actual facial expressions or eyes. I think particularly the two that were like a little bit of the more difficult ones to um, outline in this particular um, drawing were Watari and Kaori. I'm, pretty, I'm hopefully hopefully not botching up their names, but that would be the 
two that the last two I worked on, which is the one where the guy is laying with his arm behind his head, and then um, the girl that's right next, right below him. Now, in the next page, or what you guys, well, basically, still the current page, it's the mood tracker. I accidentally didn't film myself actually outlining the lines. Um, basically, what I did was um, I did what would be the lines for like a musical sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead and using the template for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is kind of like um, a song that they played throughout the series. I'm going to um, fill in the color of the notes with the color corresponding to the mood of the, of the day. And on the side, I just did a time tracker mainly because I kind of wanted to see more of an overview of what I do throughout the day. Um, next month, I might try what I've seen on Instagram, which I don't remember who, but if I do try it next month, I'll post them a link down below to their page where they do like a productivity tracker where you basically fill in icons and then you reach certain levels on certain days as opposed to just like getting an, an overview of what you're doing during your time because sometimes time tracking can be a little basically time consuming because you're trying to figure out what categories you want what categories you don't want how the categories are going to be measured yada 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 in this case i wanted it for like basic use which is for sleep and work tracking so i can see like how many hours am i at work in a day uh how many hours do i sleep in a day and i might ask uh, I, I might also add like youtube onto there which is like filming editing and actually, you know, getting the radio, the radio, ugh, my apologies, getting the video ready for posting. Um, and then next page is the habit tracker. Now here is another um, picture I got off of Google. I went ahead and got a light blue piece of construction paper so I can kind of have like a more of a background to this image because I'm going to go ahead and paste it between both pages. I also got some glittery blue um, washi tape to, you know, add like kind of further emphasize the border aspect of it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste that picture in. We're doing a uh, what is it a dutch door method here and so i'm just cutting off some of the x's kind of making sure to follow the outline of the image itself below it we're gonna after cutting out the x's we're gonna go ahead and get another piece of that same colored construction paper and we're gonna place it behind the image so basically it's gonna kind of it'll kind of give the illusion of an ongoing thing and then right now what i'm doing is i'm placing this washi tape that i got from the archer and Longlive mystery box the first very the very first mystery box and i'm placing it um down originally i wanted it to like you know kind of peek through the curves of the picture but i didn't really um take into consideration like the like the measurements or whatever i mean it still looks incredibly nice this is probably one of my favorite parts of the spread is the stretch door where i'm using it to track my budget not expenses because for the last two months i have not been filling out my expenses page i just directly put them onto my spreadsheet and just get the overall numbers so i didn't want to waste pay up like you know basically a page on something i wasn't going to use and just to kind of um minimize the amount of white space i put this picture of Tsubaki and Kosei when they were little little itty bitty ones um, and that area is just going to be for notes And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. Um, stay tuned for the month of May where we get to see what comes up next. All right, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you're interested in watching more. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.